Maybe expecting this Elder Titan to start down bottom with the Nyx. But he's actually going to go up to this top point, so they're not going to give this Dar Slaughter Darkseid this free 2v2 scenario where they just do whatever they want um, and, you know, oh. shove the lane in. Oh. There's the root straight into the spin. You do have the stomp available for EGM, but for Rev, makes a break for the tree line. The Iron Shells are causing issues for Hansen, so he can't stay with this one, but EGM gets nice. the stomp, or can he know Slaughter will crush it, interrupt it, and then the extra root, so the Darkseid will still go down. Lions knew exactly what they were getting into thanks to that Observe Ward over on the side. Oh but then goodness. again, Yamsaw's doing some work. He went for the early win lay, so he has the movement speed against EGM. He's going to find oh. him in the tree lines, get the crush off before the stomp can complete this time around. So it's a one for one. Now that you said that, <laughs> so far. Like there's, there's EGM just sitting behind the tower at level two, so he's got the spirit stomp available. With level 2 Shrapnel, they should be able to hold the Sniper in position for this. It's exactly what they are doing. So Yamsa will die up on the top lane, but we'll watch the mid. He'll avoid the stomp with the defensive imprisonment, but a third Shrapnel is thrown down. And OD, he knows his fate, so he'll accept it. Good rotation in from EGM, and nice synergy with Limp. Yeah, they get the, uh, the bring down there. Too. So, Ferev can give him an Iron Shell. Okay, he's going to surge him up as well. They're going after Hanskin. Hanskin has to turn for the Frostbite, but it was still down. And now with the Iron Shell burn, can he actually get through in time? Back in range of the T1 oh. Tower. Yapsor sacrificing himself to ensure a kill on the Crystal Maiden. Worth it, you can ask yourself. You know, some farmers having a one-on-one -on -one battle with a Dazzle, but having that double damage rune, he has enough damage to do it. You know, some farm... Wow. That's, Just that's knowing crazy. what he can get away with. Yeah, he gets the solo kill there. He's trying his own cooldown, so he's probably gonna go have to be gonna have to go back to base in a little bit since he is pretty low. Although Fada's metamorphosis is down, so maybe won't even have to. Yep, so we're trying to punish that by wrapping around. But uh, he's got he's got sprint off cooldown now. Uh there is spike carapace available, so Yabsaw's timing kinda has to be right on the money, but he does lost he doesn't have the vision. Nissan farm hung around a little bit too long. Rev goes down top again. Yeah, this is not a happy Dark Seer game. Uh, they, uh, you know, you want the even, but now that he has those phase boots, it's gonna start getting considerably harder for the OD. Adam's being stalked. He's trying to do the pullover, and he did manage to find three, but with a stun and the spirit coming down, EGM will find the kill on the dazzle. So not much net worth to his name, but he did buy his boots. It's his level six, almost up to it. And they slept again on bottom lane. It's not enough damage from both of them just to get the straight up burst kill. But one more attack would do it. Tazzle is so low. He had Shallow Grave available as well, and Yamtor's going to rotate in. They look for the Storm. Adam just pushes a little bit further to the right. Oh, here's the Iron Shell. Yep. But the Iron Shell damage. They need to move away from it. But nice. oh, Adam is able to get the Shadow Wave in again. So the physical damage will kick on the on the stunned up target. Situation like this where you're all just pinned in your lanes, can't really do anything, aren't. Uh, in a position, and you know, you know, getting out farmed as well in the lanes. Okay, the observer and sentry scattered units and farms rotation. Uh, the one that was just on the bottom rune area. So they know the Nyx Assassin's on the hunt on the Radiant side. They just don't know exactly where. So Unison Farm misses everything inside the jungle and then comes over. Hits for Rev just as he did his surge as well. So the kill is still going to going to work. And Yamsaw having to defensively hold around the rest of that Dark Sea wall. Gets double amplification up. Has the movement speed, but again, Root, such a great ability. Rotation's coming over. It's the OD who's on his way up. He's got one point up in the orb, so there's a little bit of extra damage to play with. He'll throw out the imprisonment instead, but with Limp here, the Shrapnel's going to go oh. under the ramp. It's going to be difficult to get away, especially when the Spy Capra's there. They can't turn around and attack. Yamsaw just wants one last little hit to get it, and he will be able to. So it's a one-for-one one trade. Be able to fight. My soldier's fortune. Oh, wow, they really need that Observer War to stay up too. Arson gets rid of the vision on bottom lane. Adam gets caught out the tree line, holding in almost exactly the same place as before. They find that kill. Yeah, so is he okay? He's body blocking up the Nyx Assassin while he's sitting in an Invis rune. And the that crush, it'll connect. And part of the damage is huge. He'll get himself a double kill. Nix and ET to drop, and now the pressure to the tier 1 tower is coming. Yeah, Yapsor is playing really well right now with the TP down to the bottom and the turnaround kill onto the, uh, I think it was the Nyx Assassin. Or was it the Nyx's first death? It, okay, yeah, so it was the Elder Titan before, and then now the nice body blocks, and they get the kill on those couple of heroes. It's pretty huge. Uh, 
The sniper <coughs> walks down to bottom to make sure the knight was not able to dish out too much damage, but you can see this is the kind of move Spada needs to make. He ports to mid immediately after and forces a rotation from EGM at the very least. So he doesn't get this tower, but as long as he's pulling these supports around like this, making space for Firo to catch up. Uh, in the meantime, Yapsor can farm down bottom or Adam work towards the Solar Crest. It just op makes, uh, you know, opens up space on the map. I think Fod is playing really well right now and he has to continue to make these kinds of moves. That TP was super smart. Keep Alliance checking behind themselves. Top tower is still going to go the way of Alliance as uh, Yapsor completely isolated and cups the entire Omni Slash. It's only level 1, however, so only 3 jumps, not enough to kill a slaughter from 100%. And you know some fun. As he was Getting the Dragon Lance, just that extra range for the towers isn't really that useful at all. The HP, not really either, as they can still burst up from 100 to 0. You know, some farms waiting for his target. He's gonna find Forev running around. A lot of pressure being applied towards the mid. The OD's gone down again. Just a sniper chipping away and put these heroes that can just sort of stand up in front of the tower and defend it. With uh, like the Dazzle sitting behind them, healing them up, so. Sniper can chip away a little bit. The units of farms in a lot of trouble. He's got four one charges as well as by Carapace now coming off cooldown. So Yapsorp, <laughs> he didn't wait long enough for it. But the Dark Seer Illusion will do the work anyway. Yeah, getting kills like that is that power the sniper won't be able to play near as courageously. Fodder actually committed this metamorphosis for this defense. They really want to hold this tier one town. Normally 14 minutes in, you just let this go, but now it's Fada, and he's gonna cop the entire Omni Slash. It was already low enough, so. Metamorphos is blown, Vada will drop, the fortification's off on the tier 1 tower, but this is just keeping Adam feeling like he's got a chance to do something, but Units of Farm right on top of him. Brings down the Dazzle, while Loda takes the tower. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you definitely have the dim, it's just a All matter right. of if he gets scouted, which you're definitely gonna get scouted. <laughs> yeah, EGN's waiting for it, the blink wow. up, the cross will be there. So Yamsaw, he knew when the spirit came down that EGM had to be there, looking for the stomp, can't get up in time. There's a lot of shrapnels down for the moment. With a fresh sentry too, units of farms can be careful just running into this one with a frostbite. OD has defensively in prison. Fada running forward, but Limp's doing all the damage, and OD the chance of getting out of here. Where's that grave? It's gonna be there in time as Loda starts to spin. He's moving up, he's looking for the supports. As now Crystal Maiden, she'll let it go. The OD will come back out, instantly killed off too. It's a double kill for the Lady of Ice. And Bear's trap. I think that mid tower is absolutely huge, but. Nice, uh, nice play from the rest of the team, rotating in immediately and having that, uh, the medallion because he is so far and, like, turned everything Fata's around. dead. Omni Slash will go out. It creates he illusion pretty illusion. quickly, but... Whoops. Oof. That Sunder was meant for somebody else. <laughs> yeah, he meant to swap the Nyx, but I think he swapped the illusion on Max, so that was unfortunate. Oh, Lotus starting up the spin. Limps here as well, and the EGM Spear is down. They're gonna find the OD. He only just got back to the Wall of the Living, and is sent back to the graveyard. Um, down the trees, all the way on the bottom. Fada starts his TP. Oh, no. That's never going to complete, and now he's trapped. He can't just run out, so he'll Sunder onto the units and farm. The Assassinate's there, and Terrorblade is toast. Loda will find the kill with a spin. And yet another opening, another... Well, they're farming up, their their cores are getting farmed, and they're farming at, you know, slightly slower rates uh, than the, the cores of Alliance, but it's really just these supports, the Crystal Main. You know, I hit the money. They didn't... Okay. He took the rune underneath the Observer Ward. That's so nice. Bears scanned just to make sure they knew exactly... There's enough pressure on bottom that maybe Alliance come back after taking the Tier 2. Yeah, they, uh, that's, that's, that's what bears want. They don't want them to force the high ground, but it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Fauna has the Manta, though. Okay, there she, the she just burns everything. Yeah, they, they, they gotta come back. There's yep. no way. That's a lot of armor. The oh. Weave Did he already get his, doing his work, and then a straight TP out. Back towards the middle lane, that's where the fight is. And the Slaughter, he's down. The Darkseer wall at least seems to have caused a little bit of confusion. Well, again, it's a vac, but there's no wall combination. Still on cooldown for the moment, and they have to trigger off the Shrine. In order to get the life, no go for a blink crush over on the ET. And Fada trying to get back out again. The Omni Slash getting lost inside the illusions, with the slaughter being lost outside the base. He's down for 50 seconds. Loda feels maybe he can bring down that manly Rex. Starts off with a spin, so you can't get that orb damage into Loda just yet. Pushes back, he's still got the Aegis the Immortal. So Alliance, it looked like they just want a tier 3 tower. And now they take the melee ranked as well, plus the kill onto the OD. You know it's coming, he pushes away. Defensive imprisonment, is there another shrapnel charge gonna go out? Not likely. 
But he's going to go down anyway. No way to escape. And the Lions take the full mid rack. Just dish out the right clicks as much as he would want to. Oh, they find the opening. EGM is there for Rev. A quick fact. Doesn't want a big follow up. Yapsaw's watching it. I think they have to almost sacrifice for Rev. He doesn't have the life to survive. Oh, and no. maybe, well, do they fight? Lotus still there on the front lines. They get the crush off, but the push forward. They won't have enough. And the stun from units of farm is perfect. Lip is stitching the damage out from very, very far downtown. Hanskin will get a good ulti up as well. Sitting in the high ground. He doesn't even care about being inside the wall. At that point, it's almost just a free farm. Three heroes down for Bears. Another great fight. Uh, pretty underwhelming results, but they're they're showing that they they they've got a shot for sure. They're you know going up against bears, many consider to be the the favorite. Adam's and in trouble. Adam's in a lot of trouble. Adam is in fact dead. Yeah, no way back. A little bit low on mana. Uh, on Jonas and Fan. Here they come for that last rank. So bears have really got, only got one last play in them. But they don't have the OD. OD just shifted his TP scroll over. So they go for the back wall. Catching out two for the ET splitter. Might actually change the odds on this one. As Crystal Maiden lets that ulti go once again. Cleans up all of the line. It's a one for one trip. The Nyx Assassin did go down and leave her gem. You know, his gem sitting on the deck. A quick thunder. Dropping loader down very, very low on life. And they just try and keep going. OD retreat back out. Yules up and towards the air. Hits the ground, then gets frosted down by Hanskin. Fada, does he have enough? Can he hold this soloist? Just oh him. He'll kill EGM off before the TP can complete. Yo, He'll pick up the back. gem as well, dropping his PMS. Before Hero is down, and it is only Fada who stands between Alliance and taking that third lane. Of you know, we should be able to see where everyone is. Are you still not there? And the Dire scanned oh, it there. Wow. Observer, what they had. It's a three man impale zone from Nyx. And that might be the game there. The trap was sprung too early. Yulesing up. There's no way for the Darks here to survive that. He even dies from the fall. EGM's on the run to the illusions, but now BKB's up. Pharaoh, maybe he's got the damage against the Nyx Assassin. You've still got that Eclipse available too. And Juggernaut, well, he's still not getting in there to do enough damage. The assassination's out, it'll hit on Fada, but he's still protected by both BKB and the Shallow Grave. But Nyx Assassin, it's close. It's, it's right in the middle of the burrow. Okay, they see him. Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they pushed this little burrow away. I, I, to be honest, I thought they'd drag him in and just attack him. Yeah, so. Well, they get the amplification over on Loader. Loader can't break free of it. The ET split up forever. We get the wall down. They sacrifice his life for it. Oh. No, he gets back on a bee stick of life and Fada. He's so low. He's looking for a Sunder target and he can't get it off. He's down for 80 seconds. They don't have their big core and it will be GG. Alliance will take the game and they will end their European day tied for first with a team they just beat. They just brought down Bears. So they end 4-1. Yeah, their lanes were just super solid. And uh, whenever your lanes go that well and you have these slow cores like the OD,